this video is going to be a little bit different. It's not really a makeup tutorial. It's just me basically giving you my personal review of some of the items that I purchased. As you guys know, last month and every month for that matter, I love to go online and order makeup that's on sale or just try new items out because I am a hairstylist and a makeup artist and I'm a makeup enthusiast slash junkie. So whenever I see something that's normally a certain price and it goes down drastically, I have to get it. Like it's just, it's in my niche. The main palette that I used today was the Soul Palette from ColourPop. It retailed for about nine bucks. I love this palette. She is a clutch item. I got the Soul, I got the Mar, and I got the It's My Pleasure. This is the first one that I've used out the three. And I used a lot of the colors in this palette to create this makeup look. I used one, two, three, and four. And then the only two things that weren't from this palette was my neon pigment that's on my eyelid and this cranberry shade that is in the Saharan 2 palette that I use just to deepen my crease a tiny bit. Overall, I love the ColourPop palette. The things I love about the Soul palette is the fact that it's super affordable. The packaging is really, really cute. And a lot of the shades are brown girl friendly and I can pretty much create anything with these colors. Um, the only thing I will say is I wish they had a darker shade in here, like a darker brown or maybe even a darker red. Just because I had to go in with a darker shade from another palette just to deepen my crease. But other than that, you can't beat it. For $9, I'll make it work. The Dozero Cosmetics, I actually tried to go in with this to do a makeup look originally. But I realized that the, the formula of this is very chalky. So when you try to blend it out, it disappears. And then I tried to reapply it, it disappeared a little bit more. I tried to like pat it on, do a packing motion. It was not working so the only way I would use these pigments is for a lid shade only. That's it. And even to get a stick on my lid, it was kind of like giving me a little, it was giving me a run for my money. So the pigments are cute, but they didn't do exactly what I thought they would do. I thought it was going to be super bright and be able to blend out. Don't get me wrong, the colors are super, super vibrant, but it just does not blend like you would imagine. It's like blending chalk. It just gets powdery, gets lost, it disappears, and you gotta apply some more, it gets more powdery, disappears. And it's neon, so I want it to be bright. I don't want it to disappear on me, you feel me? I want it to be there, like, bitch, I'm in your face. So definitely use this as a lid color. Just throwing that out there for people that maybe have tried this product or thinking about trying it. It's not one of those neon pigments where you can use to like blend out your crease or do like transition shades. This would be an eyelid color only. And then I went in with a couple of liners from JD Glow. I'll put the information down below. And I got this glam look using some bomb, super, super dramatic lashes. Like these lashes, man, these lashes are so damn big. I can fly away from the haters right now and never return. Thank you guys to the new subscribers, the new viewers. If you want to see some more makeup looks or some hair and makeup sleeves, I got a lot of new content coming. So just bear with me and let's take the journey together.